and welcome back for another video with your girl, Shalinda One. Welcome to another video, guys. Love you guys so much. Um, in this video, I decided to, you guys have asked for a springtime look. It's springtime even though another snowstorm is approaching, like today, tomorrow. Um, however, the show must go on and it is springtime, so I wanted to do a springtime um, look for you guys but I also want to show you guys my updated and what I've been doing right now as far as my current drugstore foundation routine I'm kind of feeling it guys I've been reaching for my drugstore foundations way more than any and I do mean any of my high end don't get me wrong you guys know special place right here and in the interim of preparing for this video I picked up the, um, it's my Ray Ray uh, collaboration palette from BH Cosmetics. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this palette also came, I mean, uh, her collection also came out with, I think, like three, if I'm not mistaken, three liquid lipsticks. I didn't pick any of those up. I didn't see them. I would have. And some brushes. I didn't have that either. So I just picked this up, and I picked this up from Ulta. And I think it was maybe like 20 some dollars if I'm not mistaken. Congratulations, it's my, it's my Ray Ray. I know I am super late on this, but it's never too late to support a fellow YouTuber, a fellow sister of color. I'm with it, I support you, and congratulations again. So this is what that palette looks like. It has a mirror. And I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see it. And this is what it looks like. 10 mattes five shimmers three like look like highlighters right here and then it actually has some like powders like some contour powders maybe a little bronzer depends on how that looks so I'm definitely I'm feeling this when you can get everything in one palette that you could possibly use in your face I'm feeling it so I'm definitely gonna try that today so of course we're gonna start with the eyes my brows are already done I have to say it came out quite dark and a little harsh today yeah, so we're just gonna like, you know, we're just gonna scoot right past that. I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution um, concealer in C13 to just mute out the discoloration. Okay, so I'm gonna use the mirror that it comes with. This color right here is called Spice. We're gonna go in with that. And we're gonna allow that to be our first transition color. Oh, that pikes up a lot. I did not expect that type of pigment. Okay. Okay. The next color I'm gonna go in with is Sunset. We'll put that on the brush. And I'm just gonna go right into the crease with it. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do a little something with that Friday. I'm going to go right up in here. Let's see what that does for me. I'm going extremely low into the, uh, the crease. Now I want to deepen my outer V with um, Connie. This name of it, Connie. I expected that color to come off a little darker than it is. That's a little bit more uh, grape, well, light grape. Okay, so with my fingers, I'm going to see what Tiffany is talking about, and this is Tiffany right here. And Tiffany is a really pretty, like, almost looks like a bronzy red a little bit and I'm gonna pop her right on the middle I expected that to kind of show a little bit more than it is so I'm gonna use that with the brush
about that color it, it didn't it, it didn't go on as it's not leaping for me it's it's for some reason it's just looks a little choppy it's not blending very well the mattes so far have been fantastic but it's that but that one metallic that I've tried so far is not it's not giving me my life for some reason so to try to fix it, I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to go in with this highlighter, this white highlighter right here. This is nice, ooh, nice and smooth. And I'm going to go right on top. I like that. I like that a little bit better. For some reason over here, you see that? It just looks very not blended. I don't know why this won't blend. Okay, I'm not going to do any more than that. Cause I did wind up doing way too much with that. And out of nowhere, lashes are on. Okay, so the only thing I did off camera obviously was apply my lashes. And I went in with Black Beauty right here in the corner. And I used that as my um, liner to kind of just smoke out my lash line and to disguise the band a little bit. That's it. Okay. So let's move on with the face. The first thing I'm going to do, my face is already moisturized and all that stuff. I didn't add primer yet. But I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and add just a tiny bit of moisture underneath my eyes. Not be using a drugstore primer. I am going to be using my Lancome um, La Base Pro Hydro Glow 24 Hour um, Hydration Primer. I just really like it, guys. I have to be honest with you really really like it and I will be skipping um, color correcting today I've just been lazy with it you know I'm just pushing it in once I spread it I push it into the skin for foundation I have been loving obviously the Maybelline 24 hour super stay foundation in the darkest color that they do offer which is 362 however I've been mixing her I've been mixing her with her classmate, CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. These two have just been really, they've been friends. They've been friends. They, 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 they like each other. They like to hang out. But then it was like, okay, we need a third because we love you and everything. So I add a little bit of my NYX Hydra Touch um, oil. Just a little bit. I take like two pumps of this one because I just do it for the whole face I take two pumps so I like maybe like one and a half pumps of that other one a darker one and then I take the hydra oil and put like two drops and that's it and there you go and it just leaves such a beautiful skin like effect it's not you know, it's not super matte, but I just have the best of both of these foundations. The Elixir that give that healthy look, along with the fuller coverage of the uh, Maybelline. Then I am just here for it. Now, of course, if you are a person who like just more of a matte finish, definitely just go in with the CoverGirl. I'm sorry, with the Maybelline. That Maybelline is great. It's what I have definitely just filled my makeup kit with for prom season that 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 Maybelline 24 hour stay it's perfect okay so now I'm gonna leave this on the back of my hand like I said for blending of the concealer the concealers that I will be using is they're all from the drugstore but I do you guys can see I have very sunken dark eyes so I do go in with two different concealers sometimes three if I had to be honest but I'm going to use the um, Age Rewind um, concealer. I'm going to go in with the. I'm going to go in with the darkest color, and that is in hazelnut. And I'm going to go right down up in here, guys. You know, I haven't really been feeling like a super bright under eye, and it's because I've been more focused on getting rid of this that deep 
set right there that um and knowing that i'm going to go in with more than one concealer definitely helps with that and then yes guys i let her sit i do not blend her out right away I let her sit. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and just blend this out, really focusing on just the edges. Really kind of allowing the concealer that's up in there to kind of just continue to sit. Now that I've let that sit a little longer, now I can go in and just make sure to blend that out some to take off any excess that's just sitting on the skin. I have to say, um, I've been recommending this concealer to everyone. I don't know about you, but I have those family members and friends that'll call me like, hey, I'm sitting outside Ulta, what do I want? Like, okay, if I can recommend anything right now to me, the best drugstore concealer on the market, being honest with you, is definitely this. They played us out by holding these colors for so long because this concealer is just so the bomb. It's great. I love, love, love it. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution uh, Concealer in C12 and it's very light. But I'm only going to apply it right up in here just to kind of really distract, to really bring this area out so it's not so dark and sunken in and I focus it very lightly only right up in there this is a great tip for anyone who has the same issues that I have go in with this area with a much lighter concealer uh, try not to get it on your nose just saying and as always I let her sit go in and start to blend that out and I do use a concealer brush for this part you see how it's still sunken just because that's just my eye but it's not as bad as it was and I'm not you notice I didn't drag it all the way out I left it right in this area Okay, so now let's set this eye. I'm gonna go in with my Makeup, makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. I go in and really push that in. I do not bake, I set. So I really put it on. Now you see how it just, it didn't take the entire crease away, but it definitely made it better than what it was, without question. They're not gone, but they're extremely decreased. Extremely, and I'm here for it. We're gonna go in with, let's do Control Freak. Let's do a little bit of Control Freak up there. Okay, I'm going to skip eyeliner today. I think my uh, mascara is going to add enough definition, but that is pretty much all I'm gonna do for the eyes. Uh, where's my mascara? I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara and I'm gonna use my Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I just love what it does for my lower lashes. It just makes me happy. Okay, so let's do something with that and a tear duct real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay, cut it out. Um, Okay. For some reason, I want to see what she's talking about. I want to see what she's talking about. So, I want to see what she's talking about. I want to see what she's talking about. That's what she's talking about right there. Definitely looks white in a pan, but it definitely has more of a gold finish. And it's beautiful. And I guess I'm dragging it up into the lid a little bit just to help with blending. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so now let's do some... Let's see. Is this more of a contour color or a bronzing color? So I'm going to look, go right into this one right here. And I want to see... That is 
definitely more of a what would be maybe a contour color not so much of a bronzing color but I could definitely get her off let's contour with her though on this the, the side of it and go into here Oof, that's intense that is intense and then I'm just going to completely wipe that off and see if I can buff that out This is to see how blendable it is. It's definitely blendable, it blended out. Okay, so let me use a little bit of Anastasia. Just a little bit, just to uh, soften that up and to add a little bit of the bronze to my face. And I'm kind of going right over it, very lightly. Like I guess I'm gonna use a very little bit of this. And I'm bringing it in a little bit to use it, because my eyes, a lot going on in my eyes. I'm using this a little bit to warm up my face, so I'm going to skip out one blush. So I'm just going to use that a little bit more on the cheek area. All right, let's see what this um, see what that highlight do. French toast swatch is like, and let's go in with Radiant. Radiant is pretty too. So I have my uh, my favorite, um, what do you call this, highlighting brush, Morphe M501. That is pretty, um, it's just okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna top that with Radiant. And I'm just gonna flip the brush over, put a little bit on here, and go right on top. And I'm not really pulling it out far I'm just kind of putting it right where I want it in like packing motions so I am gonna go in with something that's not drugstore and that is my Sephora micro smooth powder this is something else I have been recommending to everyone probably my my things that I've been recommending the most foundation has to be the Maybelline um, Foundation, concealer has to be the Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline's been killing it. And um, for finishing powder, I've been recommending this over MAC Skin Finish. I really, really, really like this. I wear this on a day when I'm not doing any like real makeup. I just add my, and I need to record that for you guys, my everyday makeup where I just add the Maybelline concealer and this, and that's it. Love it. And I do apply this with my Morphe E58 brush. Fantastic, this color is in, this is their darkest color in deep, love it. So now I'm just gonna go in with some finishing spray. You can use whatever you like, but I personally have been loving the Mario DeSeco spray. I just, sometimes I just OD with this spray because it just, and I love for her to get wet and just absorbs and it just, whatever this is. Whatever this is, is what it does. Okay, so right here in my vanity, I have this pinkish mauve color. It looks a little darker on camera, but it's definitely more of a mauve and hypno from Ofra. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that. It's darker than what I wanted, people. I need to lighten her up. So guess what I'm gonna do? Right, like it. I've been doing nude lips again. I mean, uh, matte lips and liking it. Okay guys, so now I am finished my entire face. So let's recap a little bit on the It's My Ray Ray um, palette. The eye look came out pretty. What I would say is in this palette, definitely when it comes to the eyeshadows, and remember I didn't use all the eyeshadows, but from the ones that I did, I used one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. I use eight of the um, 15 shadows, and they are definitely some hits and misses. The things that I use in my crease seem to work really well, but the um, that metallic, that Tiffany, whether it was dry, it didn't go on very well, it didn't swatch very well, it didn't apply very well, and even when I wet the brush, it still didn't like give it to me. However, Angel is gorgeous, and Angel is what I have in my inner tear ducts, and I would reach for this palette to use Angel in any other look. Like, Angel was a beautiful color. I look forward to trying Passion. Passion is a very, very pretty little uh, metallic, like a little purple. Is that purple? So, look, she's gorgeous. So, I definitely want to say this is definitely worth the pickup just because of the eyeshadows. You get 15 eyeshadows in here, 10 matte. Five, five shimmer and I have to say like this hits and misses but there's more hits than misses and just the eyeshadow part alone now let's go and let's talk about this bottom half the three highlighters and the three uh, like face powders I did not use either one of these just because for my skin tone as you can see it really doesn't show up not bad so that lighter color I can definitely use just to kind of like highlight certain areas in my face with some powder. This one I probably wouldn't get a lot of use out of because it's too close to my skin tone. Um, maybe to set my lid, which I don't really do too much more. But let's talk about her right there. That girl right there is ooh, as dark skin friendly. What I would have to say is very pigmented so you want to use an extremely light hand when using it but it definitely can be used um uh, i don't think i would i could like um bronze my face with it it's a little bit too pigmented for that for anyone that wants to contour though you could definitely use that as a contour use a very light hand and it will get the job done so let's go back up and talk about the highlighters i think the highlighters in here are beautiful I do have them on right now. They definitely are buildable. So if this is a little bit too mild for you, you can clearly build it and like go as far as you want it to go. I personally like a little bit of a sulfur highlight. I think it's more flattering to the entire face. Out of all of them, this color right here, her lights that's kind of like duochrome are just spec. It almost has like a... It has a yellow with like a tint of like a little like a little green, which I love. I just think it's stunning. That next one, which is Radiant, is very pretty as well. I'm trying to look for some way to swatch it. That's a very pretty one as well. And then you have French Toast. I don't wonder where she get that name from, French Toast. I want some French rock and down which is very pretty. You can see how that has like a very rose gold. So the highlighters alone in this palette, I would buy this palette just for this bottom half, but to then also get the 15 eyeshadows makes this a very good um, buy. You get everything you possibly can want, eyeshadows, shimmers, face powders, highlighters, and variety of each in this one little palette. You can't beat it. Good looking right. That was really good. As far as my um, makeup, my foundation, drugstore foundation routine, I just love it. As I can, like I shared with you, now that I've put my entire face on, you can see why I just love it so much. It's not as matte and it's not as um, illuminating. It really is a perfect mix. Once I set my face with my favorite powder and I add me some finishing spray, it is just beautiful and yeah so yeah <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't done so already please rate comment and subscribe if you have any questions or concerns you know what to do leave them below in the description box and in the description box leave them below in the comment section and i will jump right on it and i love you guys so much for watching guys be sure to go absolutely everywhere and follow me at shalinda1 especially instagram and twitter i've been stepping my game up so i definitely want you guys to be a part of that movement and i love you guys so much please remember you are bold you are beautiful stay safe because a storm is coming and i will see you guys in the very next video
Bye guys. Question of the day. I haven't given you guys one in a while. Question of the day. What is your current favorite drugstore foundation? I want to know which one you rocking with. They may be one that came out that I don't know about. Hook a sister up. Leave it below in the comment section. I love you guys. Bye.